Hi, I'm Michael Golopter, the Executive Director of the Yale Center for Environmental Justice. Now, why would the Yale School of Environment, in partnership with us and the Center for Business and Environment at Yale, develop a new certificate program in clean and equitable energy development? Because we're living really in unprecedented times. The U.S. federal government over the last three years has committed more than $2.1 trillion, or five to eight times the investment in the New Deal, to promoting a clean energy revolution. At the same time, international treaties are calling for over $100 billion in loss and damages funding to flow around the world to the global south. President Biden's first executive order was entitled Justice 40, mandating that 40 percent of the benefits of all that federal investment go to disadvantaged communities around the United States. So we live in a moment of unprecedented opportunity, but also unprecedented challenge in making sure that all this capital flows to the places it's most needed. That's why we created the Certificate in Clean and Equitable Energy Development. So who is the certificate for? Well, first of all, it's for people who want to learn about equity and energy from one of the, at the, in, in an environment set up by one of the world's great universities, Yale. Second of all, it's for energy professionals who are working in solar, batteries, renewables, efficiency, mobility, to try to learn about how to use the large amounts of money that's mobilized right now in investment in ways that best serve disadvantaged communities and those who need to be invested in to make the transition to clean energy. And finally, it's also for those communities themselves to ensure that leaders at places like low-income health clinics, educational centers, and, and churches, for example, are able to come to the table as equals in ideating, in designing, and in financing these programs and can sit at the table as these dollars flow and guide them to build wealth, sustainability, and resilience for the energy transitions we're making right now.